What's up guys, my name is Michael Ayers and welcome to my photography channel. Today I have a very special treat for you guys because normally I always do, oh, make sure you're all in silent, right? <laughs> I'm doing another POV video here today, but instead of using an actual professional camera, today I'll be using the iPhone 11 Pro. I've gotten multiple comments from people asking what it would be like to shoot with a cell phone. And it made me realize that not every church actually has someone that has a professional camera. So I thought, what would it be like if I just used a cell phone only? This would be a big challenge because I plan on using only the built-in iPhone camera, but I'm going to be editing with using the Lightroom mobile app. Something that might make it more challenging how to shoot this video, is the absence of shooting raw. But with the Lightroom mobile app, I'm able to take photographs shooting raw, but I can only shoot raw with the built-in lenses, and I'm not able to shoot raw in portrait mode or in the iPhone 11's ultra wide lens, which will make it even more challenging because I'll have a lot of JPEG images, and it'll be interesting to see how I can edit those in post. Whereas opposed to raw photos, where I have all this information, and I can tweak and show so much more data and make a more pleasing image. So once again, photographing with just the built-in iPhone camera, editing in Lightroom mobile app, with some images being in raw, and some images in being JPEG, and we'll see how things turn out. All right, let's go.
If you're still watching this video, thank you so much for sticking around. Now, I had a blast today taking photos at church with this iPhone 11 Pro Max. I really enjoyed using the portrait mode on this camera. I thought that the blurred out effects looked really close to a DSLR. Now, the only drawback that I found in portrait mode that I wasn't able to photograph multiple shots at once. I would see a scene and I would photograph it and then I would try to hit the button as fast as possible, but it would be photographing and just processing before it was able to go on to the next photo. And if you can anticipate certain moments, then shooting in portrait mode is the way to go. Now shooting with Apple's ultra wide lens, just like it's portrait mode, I wasn't able to photograph in RAW. But the JPEG quality of this phone was still really good enough for me to process and push it to its a reasonable limit while editing in Lightroom mobile app. Now the true beauty about photographing with this camera was with its raw capabilities. There is so much more data and raw images than JPEG images that I wish people would utilize this a whole lot more. Because when you photograph in the camera's standard JPEG settings, the iPhone and other phones will process their images in a certain way that doesn't allow for much color correction or leeway with certain highlights and shadows. Using the Lightroom app, I was able to see just how much I was able to push the dynamic range of the image while editing and it was just Phenomenal to watch all the highlights come back, all the shadows being able to be raised. Again, I was very amazed by what I was able to get with this camera, and I thought that it performed very well outside. Now the real test would be how can this type of camera perform indoors? And of course, since our church cannot meet indoors right now, I'll have to wait for that kind of video another time. And I hope that with this video, it inspires someone that you don't need a big expensive camera. Sometimes all you need is an iPhone, and it doesn't have to be a phone with portrait mode on it, but all that matters is just your creative eye. Now that being said, I still prefer professional cameras, especially since I've been a professional photographer for so many years, I was able to see the differences between iPhone quality and professional camera quality. But if you know what you're doing, you can pull off images like this very well and have the majority of people not even realize that it actually was with an iPhone. If cell phone cameras are this good now, I can't imagine how good they're gonna be six, 10 years from now. And honestly, it makes me really excited. Now, if you wanna see more POV videos like this, you can check out more of my content right here. And of course, if you are a church photographer, and you want to know my thoughts on your work, email me at michaelarisphoto at gmail.com. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.